Hey guys, so today I have different content, like legit different. It's not in the beauty world, it's not in any world that I have talked about before on my channel. It's actually very informative and I think it will benefit a lot of people. I know my channel is pretty small, but to those who see it, um, I hope that this helps you. And basically, I just started to think about this um, this week because... Of some events that I will divulge in <laughs> my video so actually let me just clean up my background a little bit and I will get back to what I am talking about <laughs> okay I'm back so let's get into it so today's video is def is gonna be based on credit credit scores and credit cards and just money in general but basically focusing on your credit score and how to get it to be a good credit score um I'm no expert I'm literally just a regular person and I just want to explain how I have such a good credit score and how I maintain it being within the upper 600s and the 700s my goal is to be near the 800s at one point I was at like 780 something so close but things happen and your credit score always is fluctuating and I'm not mad at being sometimes in the six sixes I'd rather be stay in the sevens but as of right now I'm actually in the six range and I think that's due to some things that happen um, on accident <laughs> so let's just get into it and I don't know if this is gonna be like a two-parter three-parter because I don't want these videos to be too long at most I want them to only be like 15 to 20 minutes so if I ramble on and it's uh, 45 minutes that means that it's going to be four separate videos and hopefully I can chop it up chop and screw it <laughs> so that I can label each of them something different so right now I just want to get into the backstory of why I even have credit or how I got credit and why I have a credit card so basically when I came out of college um, in 2016 I wanted a car because I was moving back home I had my older car um, but I wanted something new so I can get from A to Z instead of from A to B because I was going back and forth a lot to New Jersey and paying for the train just wasn't making sense the money that I put into a train I can get to New Jersey quicker and pay less money so my dream car was a Buick um, or anything that was you know nice <laughs> but my dream car then was a Buick and basically to get a car you need credit you need a job you need credit you need at least I think what three credit I mean three um, payments or job payments and you need credit so I was like well crap um, if I want to get a car I need a credit card so I went to um, what's it called credit karma and seeing what credit card I can open and that was the chase freedom card yes it was a chase freedom card and that was my first line of credit so that I can purchase my card the line of credit was 1500 and it stayed 1500 for a while I literally don't think it went up until this year <laughs> and I wasn't mad at it being 1500 because I just want to tell you the struggles like you think that you're going to be um, responsible with your credit card but unless you're really disciplined you're not like you're literally not I thought I was gonna be responsible with contacts then I got my eye infection and that's when I was responsible so you're not gonna be responsible I told my parents I was being responsible I was being responsible to an extent but not as responsible as I wanted to be or needed to be thank gosh I didn't have these things when I was in college thank gosh in college I was too scared to have a credit card in college all I had was a debit card two debit cards TD and Connex which is only in Connecticut I believe so um, and that's a credit union and credit unions are definitely amazing if you can open up a debit card anywhere I would definitely do a credit union rather than a bank, but that's some stuff I don't know anything about I just know that it's better or been told that it's better to open up at a credit union rather than at a bank So and I've heard a lot of good things a lot of people who open up at credit unions love it comparably to banks But I don't know TD was pretty good um but why not just be with Connex with my mom? And that was the easier choice. Other than the fact that you have to... Okay, I'm good. I'm, I'm going into <laughs> other details that have nothing to do with this or it does. But um, yeah. So yeah, I opened up that credit card with Chase. And I was having a good time with it. Um, meaning I was purchasing things, paying it off, um, letting it accumulate. I was going on trips using, using that card and everything like that. I think I had that card for... I think I opened it sometime in I want to say February because I think I got my car around like 
April Fools. So I think I opened it in like February or March. And I had it for the two months. And then I started using it for trips and stuff like that. And that's when it was starting to get a little bit out of hand um, because I was paying for like plane tickets, blah, 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 letting it sit there. And you know, that's what you can do with credit. That's what credit is for. It's for you to purchase things. Um, the smarter thing would be to do is purchase thing, get your points, pay it off um, so that you don't get the um, tacked on interest rate, which my interest rate is 21 points of the percent. I asked about lowering it. They gave me the runaround, whatever. So it's definitely better to pay it off before the payment comes but you know credit is there essentially and everybody's gonna fall into this credit is there so that you can pay for something and essentially let it sit there and pay it off um, with knowing that you're gonna have um, interest on it um, a steep amount of interest because honestly the points that you gain because all my credit cards are point cash back type of things the points that you earn on it don't equal the credit <laughs> I mean don't equal the um, don't equal the interest rate so okay for every dollar that I spent well with that with that card in particular for every dollar that I spent I got 1.5 um, percent back which is basically is that a for every dollar that's a I think that's a penny and a half or whatever but if my <clears throat> if my interest rate is 20 percent it's not making much sense but I wasn't seeing it that way so I was just using it paying for stuff you know and honestly I literally use my credit cards for everything and my debit card is to pay my credit cards basically so and I as you can hear I'm saying credit cards so I'm gonna give you the backstory on how I ended up with three credit cards I only wanted two, but chase once again and the reason why I'm making this video is because I want a fourth but the fourth is for something completely different not personal it's for business so I ended up with my chase and I've had a line of credit for five years which I didn't even know but I've had a line of credit for five years I'm trying to figure out how that math makes sense. 2016, 17, 18, 3. I don't know where the other two years <laughs> have come from because I definitely opened up my credit card in 2016, which means that they're talking about 2014. And I don't know if that's because I had loans in it. I don't know how I've had credit for five years. But um, because I've only had my first credit card since 2016. So let's just say I had my credit. Let's just go with three years instead of five. My FICO score told me that it was five years today. Don't know. So, anyway. Um, so, I told you about my first one and how I got my first credit card. And that was the one that basically Credit Karma told me I can get. And it was for my car. The second credit card was more of a trip credit card. And I got Discover, which... <laughs> love discover like i recommend discover i recommend discover like use my name as a referral maya should i should i give my last name if if you if you get a discover card let me know so i can give you my name because i love discover the only drawbacks is literally that it's not accepted everywhere so i was so pissed um later on in the same year 2016 um i think in november I opened up or December I opened up my discover card because I was going to Canada and I wanted a credit card just for travel and my chase credit card just be for stuff here um regular everyday stuff so I opened it up and that line of credit first started out at 225 25 it started out at 2500 and I paid for like my plane tickets and everything like that got to Canada soon found out that discover isn't accepted there I didn't bring my chase card and so that was like a whole interesting situation in itself thank gosh I had Canadian dollars um but that's how I ended up with my second credit card I was in between chase and discover using chase and discover chase and discover I'll tell you what happened then um with having two credit cards and and then the third credit card which is my most recent which I got this year was my Amazon credit card and I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to ch change my chase freedom to Amazon but they were like you can't do that so I had to open up a whole new Amazon card at this point I'm actually not mad at it because now I have each credit card standing for something basically is the lines are kind of blurred but they still do stand for something and I opened up the Amazon card because I shop on Amazon a lot and I was missing out on free cash five percent cash back five cents on a dollar missing out on stuff two two cents on gas and restaurants i believe and then one anywhere else so um 
I was missing out on money. So I finally opened up the Amazon one. To me, if you're not getting anything from your credit cards, don't open one. That's just my philosophy. If you're not getting anything back, whether it's points um, or cash back, what is the point of having it? <laughs> like, what is the point? So I would say that my Amazon card, and let me just explain to you guys what each credit card is for now. Um, so my Chase is one that I'm really actually not trying to use, but I will use it because it's attached to some of my like online, what is this? It's a, I don't know. It's attached to some of my online things. So like AliExpress, it's attached to that. I can easily just change it to my Amazon one. But right now, I actually just want to leave it that way until I do something else. Um, so my Chase one is like not in use, but is in use if I do an online purchase. And I pay that off like right before the before it can gain interest. Then my Amazon card is for Amazon purchases, of course. It keeps my... Um, Prime membership open. I use it for gas because I get the two points instead of one and a half points, which is with the other one. Um, restaurants, two points, and then anything else, one. So actually, now my Amazon card is my primary card. The Chase, the other Chase one, the Freedom one, is not one that I use unless it's an online purchase or it's already attached and it just makes it easier for me to purchase with. Um, and then my Discover card is my balance transfer card so I don't use my discover card at all it's hidden somewhere I know where it is but I'm actually too lazy to get up and look for the last three digits so it's literally not in use I use it to transfer or yeah transfer balances from one credit card to there because their transfer um thing is amazing like literally they give you the option to either pay three percent and then pay zero percent APR for 18 months or pay zero or pay zero percent at the beginning and pay 4.99 percent apr for a certain amount of months i don't know why the other option is even there i i guess for some people it makes sense to do that one but i always go with the paying the three percent up front and having zero percent apr for 18 months that's what i go with so that's what my three credit cards are basically for one of them is slightly not in use the other one is definitely in use which is the amazon one and then the other one is just for transferring balances and i actually like this system that i have and i plan on only having three credit cards for life <laughs> that's my plan and i did say at the beginning that i am going to open up a fourth one and the fourth one is actually going to be a business credit card um for me starting my own business i looked into some videos on why a business credit card is good to have i'm still still in a gray area on whether or not I really want one I mean it's good to have a business credit card it has your business name up there um and I know they said something about it not affecting your personal FICO score um and right now I'm trying to be become an LLC so I'd rather become an LLC before open up the business credit card even though you don't have to have an LLC which because you need this um this number to give to them so that they don't have to take your social security number but right now that's what I'm kind of working on. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to open this credit card now because I'm anxious. I need to call Chase and ask them whether or not I can just make my old personal credit card, which is the one I'm trying not to use anymore, into my business credit card. I feel like they're going to say no, but um, I don't know. And actually, Chase's their customer services, but <laughs> their, their credit cards are actually rated really, 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 really well, and they don't have any type of um, yearly fees on them. So that's another reason why I like it. Same with Discover. Um, the reason why I wouldn't get a Discover business card is because I kind of want all my credit cards under one app so I can see what's going on and literally just leave the Discover one or anything that's in Discover as where I transfer balances to just to have a cumulative um, balance in one and pay off everything else. So 